Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon Rainbow Runs. Let's roll the dice. It is a six. Oh, honestly, I forgot I forgot I even had the uh the Lich costume downloaded. I I might I meant to get rid of it, but no no reason to now. It's I mean it's cool. So we'll be the Lich, not the hunter. And then what what was the thing? Uh five or six means that we are doing curse mode. We got a three. Which means we are not to spawn chest. Rinba. All right. This generally shapes things pretty heavily. Okay, so there's some smart choices. Like super meat gun. Uh, gilded bullets for this run. Makes a lot of sense. And then there's one that's like a hip holster. That leads to fun. So we're going to do hip holster. Because... Look at that. We essentially got a twice as much, uh, or a, what, two times damage boost. That's the logical way to say what I was trying to say. Because we're shooting out twice as many arrows here. Unfortunately, we can't aim the second one as much because of right here. I'll show it. Uh, if you don't know, real quick, I guess, simple hip holster. Whenever you reload your gun, you fire another bullet for no cost. However... This is me not clicking anything. Firing once, click. So it's like, it, it kind of does it automatically for you if you wait too long, or you can double tap it two times in a row to fire it in quick succession. But I, I went for that because, yeah, it's probably not stronger than uh, Super Meat Gun. Arguably, I don't know about the statistics on um, Gilded Bullets, but could probably be worse than that. I'm not sure. Because we're not going to be spending a whole lot of money this run. So, in theory, it would probably be smart to get something that scales with money. But, I don't know. It also feels kind of cheesy. But it's been a long time since we've had Hip Holster. And it's the kind of item that just can really make some magic happen. Oh. That was awful in every way there. All right, but yeah, it can make some magic happen if you get the correct items. You can really, really like ah, double the effectiveness of, of some items and make them pretty insane. Like for example, we are doubling the effective, almost doubling the effectiveness of our crossbow here. Turning it into something that's pretty nice. And I think it'll really, sh yeah, ha ha, did not see you there. It'll really show itself, uh, its, its true colors on the boss. We'll see how it, how nice it really is. But it's not a true two times multiplier for damage because it's, you know, you're not going to hit all of them. But for bosses and, like, big enemies, it's, it's basically two times damage up. We do have to be caref careful with the damage cap, sort of, sort of. But actually, no, not not even. It doesn't it doesn't use any ammo. That's the really cool thing about it. Okay, we don't need help because we have some sitting on the ground. A lot of people, like everybody who answered my my one question a, a little ways back about how you feel about me skipping parts of uh, of floors on Rainbow Runs, people seem generally in favor of it, or not not necessarily in favor. A couple were like in favor of it. And a couple said, hey, just as soon as, <laughs> you know, you, you get the shop, you get the boss, it makes sense to get out. Uh, I get it. So, I don't know. May maybe we will get to that point. If it feels like it's strategically intelligent, first floor, there's no point to do it. Because, in th theory, the floor should be easy. All right, let's... Do we want to space them out? Are we going to hit the damage? Do we hit the damage cap? I know it's really low on the floor, this first floor. I want to, like, do some inspecting on the health. Oh. Ah! And, and pay attention to it. But, you know, I'm just going to add, do a call to action here. Those of you who are watching the video, could you comment down below and say if it seemed like I was hitting the damage cap? That well, I don't want this. Also, I'm not allowed to pick it up. There we go. Will you tell me what you think uh, if you think it was hitting the damage cap or not? 
So I couldn't quite tell. It sort of looked like it maybe was, which would, would be crazy. All right. No, I don't feel like going to the sewers. It's, I, honestly, I think it uh, makes the game too easy on rainbow mode. Getting that extra, the extra chest. Seems a little too strong. And I don't know. Some runs get pretty insane anyways. All right. So, I mean, the law is that we have to take duct tape, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's the law. Especially because I don't know how it... I goofed to the max there. That was pretty dumb. But yeah, especially because I don't know exactly how well it... Well, that works with um, hip holster, but that sounds like it could be fun. I'm picturing it doesn't work as cool as I think. But we got to find out. Oh. Oh, man. I wish we could wait to fire our hip holster shot. Like, wait longer. So that I could go, like, boop, line up my next shot even better. That worked pretty well, though. Gotta get that now. Like, I feel like maybe I should even be whoop, wait, waiting until there's two enemies on the screen so I don't waste my free shot. Ah! It, it provides some active gameplay, because I, I have to, you know, get ready to aim my second shot so quickly. Uh, yeah, we're going to be getting that armor later. Probably want the ammo as well. I thought that would take two shots. Oh, beautiful! Beautiful! Now I don't have to buy any of that. Thank you, my game. What did everybody, th <laughs> what did everybody think of Stranger Things Season 2? I ain't gonna spoil nothing. I liked it. <laughs> totally, like, I, ne I never talk about stuff like that. But, uh, well... I, yeah, I, I really liked it. <laughs> what, what a controversial opinion I have. Uh, I do have a controversial opinion that'll relate to... I always think that'll relate to, like, nobody. Because I have... I have... There's people out there who assume that they're... Like, what they're talking about relates to everybody. Ah! Like, oh, yeah, everybody... Oh, my God. Everybody has seen Stranger Things. Not everybody has Netflix. Not everybody cares, you know? Like, I, I'm the opposite of that. I I always have the thought process that nobody would know what I'm talking about. Even something as as, as big in the, you know, the social sphere as, as Stranger Things. I don't know. But for those of you who are in that sphere, I, uh, I didn't... There's one episode that was controversial, like, hit or miss for everybody. I thought it was good. There. Vague, controversial... Not even that controversial opinion out on there. But yeah, what what everybody think? Also, what was, what's the answer? You know, I, I should never ask two questions. Call the action questions in the same episode, even. But, uh... I don't know. I like. I just finished watching it not not that long ago. I just I thought it was it's, it's such a such a nice show. It, it, it question like is it overrated? I don't know. Does that matter? Like who cares? I I liked it. I liked it. Things like being overhyped is such a I don't know. Who who cares? Like like people who go on. Uh, like, like for Mario Odyssey or, or, or Breath of the Wild, who go on review websites and rate it like a zero because it's getting too many tens. That's not how it works. Like, it, is it getting higher scores than it should? Maybe, but that doesn't mean you rate it a zero. That means that you rate it what you think it should be rated. That's how it works. Then you may, maybe you think it's a seven. Like, it shouldn't be getting 10, so I'm rating it a zero. No, rate it a seven if you think it's a seven. Don't be a dunce. Like, it's just, it, it, it <laughs> like, 
people rating it 10 are rating it 10 to... Well, maybe they are. Like, there's, there's some people who do that, too. Like, the bandwagoners and stuff like that. It's such a tricky, like, field. But just... Everybody just... Uh, calm down. Everybody suck it up. Some people like things more than you. Some people like things less. But don't rate things zeros because you don't think they should be a 10. And don't rate things... 10 because you, you know, just rate things what they're, you think they should be rated. What a wild thought. What a wild thought. I, like, personally, yeah, is, it's the 10 out of 10 system is stupid. Like, number system is stupid. But, personally, I'm super enjoying Odyssey. Like, but who, who knows? Like, what, what's the, what's the scale? Like, is 10, am I rating it like my perfect game ever is a 10? Like my perfect game that I played is a 10 and I have to compare it to that? Because then it can't be a 10 because it's not my favorite game I've ever played. So in that sense, it can't be a 10. But if I'm rating just all the games that like have sucked me in and enamored me and just, you know, did things right a 10, then it's a 10. You know, like it's so subjective. Ah! I'm getting distracted by myself. Oh no. Oh no. So it's like, how many of these people are rating it based off of like, 10 is their their favorite game they've ever played, therefore nothing, unless it's their new favorite game, which is a massive compliment, it can't get a 10. So how many people are rating it that way, how many people are rating it the other way? It's just, it's all so messy. Uh, oh. I, li I like the review system that's just, uh, I liked it, I loved it, like, you know, just, I had, to, if, if you have to, if you have to label your opinion in a easy to digest format like that, then just rate it like, I, I liked it, I loved it, like, I didn't like it, I hated it, you know, like, I think that's a, it's a system that makes sense, is easy, like, easily digestible, and it's just, it's loose, it's loose. The complication comes when you're like, okay, so... You rated, you rated the Sour Patch Kids game for, uh, on Xbox, like, the original, what, like, Xbox 360, actually. What, what, what was that? I think that was, uh, <laughs> that's a real game, by the way. Uh, you, you rated that a, a, a 60%, but you rated, uh, I don't know. God, what's, I have, I have nothing. I have no game that deserves like a 70 in my head i can't think of anything it's like but you rated that a, a 61 you're saying this is exactly like one percent better than the sour patch kids game it's like it doesn't matter it's it just doesn't matter and therefore it doesn't really matter for me to complain about it too but i i you know it's it's such a vicious cycle the world we live in right now where it's like i i'm complaining about complainers and then i like but I hate complainers too, so it's like I hate myself right now, I guess. Who knows? What a happy thought. I don't hate myself. Who? But like, it's the thing that it all boils down to is everybody can can do what they want, you know. But if you're gonna just like make a, a hus hus and fuss about. Uh, you know, I don't know. Things being popular. that That's just as annoying as people really liking stuff. Like, no, more annoying. That's what I meant to say. It's just... Yeah, so, so what if everybody's talking about Stranger Things, everybody's talking about Mario Odyssey, like I just did. Uh, it's a phase. People are, like... People still really, really like Breath of the Wild, but like, guess what? That that phase, the phase where everyone is is incessantly gushing about it, because is over. Like, I I love that game, but I'm not just sitting here gushing about it still, despite the fact that I literally am. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's such a such a tricky topic to not sound like a complete hypocrite when you're talking about it. Uh, but I just think that decide the the thought process that something is 
not good because it is popular is stupid. <laughs> like, that's not a reason. That's an insecurity. I don't know. This is this is a, a much different tangent than I usually talk about. I guess I'm just in a in a tangent mood. Every once in a while, we get these episodes that are just like, whoop. I don't know. It's, it's I'm using the crossbow here. I I really do like the uh, ah the fun little gimmick I've got going with hip holster. It single-handedly makes this run a lot more interesting. Look, I'm talking about Gungeon again. Whoop whoop. But I I don't know. There's a lot I could say that I won't because this is not a podcast. But I might do one at some point. Who knows? I hate saying... I, I hate even mentioning stuff like that because I'm the ultimate, like, project, I you know, idea creator. Like, I, I have so many un worked on projects and so many projects that have, are so close to finished, but I just give up. But that's, that's something that I've thought about doing for a long time. But, who knows. I've got, I've got some stuff to say. I don't know if it's interesting stuff. That's what we would find out. But for now, we're running out of ammo. Yeah! We might as well, like, I don't know. We might as well use our rusty sidearm, but we, no, we might as well just finish using this gun. I th can't remember if there was ammo in the shop or not. Boop, boop. It'd be really... I, I always think when I have hip holster how cool it would be is <laughs> if you threw your gun... Ooh, if you could throw your gun with hip holster and you would throw out a second one. Like, it doesn't work like that. Unless it does. Nope. <laughs> I, I mean, I was like 99% sure that I've tried it before. It'd be kind of a... Ooh. Big oversight. <laughs> I want advanced Gunsons and Dragons out so bad, you guys. I'm so... I'm sitting here and I'm so pumped. And I... It, it extra hurts because I know there's gameplay video out there. That I don't want to watch because I'm spoiled. Like, because I will be spoiled. <laughs> I, not, I am spoiled. Okay, so we're sitting here with basically nothing right now. Because we ran out of ammo and the shop didn't have any. So that stinks. I hate fighting bosses beyond the second floor with just your standard. It, re it really starts to get scaled out. And we're, we're gonna... T I'm gonna take damage at some point here. Just because of how long and drawn out this will end up being. Because this, this fight gets a lot harder once all the uh, the pillars are knocked down. And once he starts putting up ads like this. Ads like, ooh, subscribe to me undies. That's a weird one to say because I actually <laughs> have purchased them and they're great. No sponsorship. Uh, yet. <laughs> but, oh man. This is gonna get terrible. Does he, can he kill his own ads somehow? Because I, I feel like we should have more out. That was a dang good dodge. I feel like he should definitely have more out by now. But hip holster, hip holster does help us with this gun, but it only gives us one extra shot per clip, essentially. Which is handy, but it's also not that big of a deal. Alright, we gotta start killing that or so. It stinks, because I want to just try to finish him off. Where did... I didn't get him. I didn't even hit him. Where are you, sucker? Alright. No! I've got one blank to use. Haven't had to use it yet. This is going better than I thought. I should not say that. Rito's Law suggests that that will get me a hit in the next ten seconds. Ooh. Maybe we just, just discovered Reverse Rito's Law. You have to call out exactly how many seconds you have until it wears off. Doing pretty good. Oh, shouldn't have said that. Should not have said that. Alright. Alright. 
We got one pillar left up still. Yes! We did it. We did it! I'm pleased. That was not that bad. Not that bad. You didn't get lead god this run? Should not have said that. I don't know how to reverse Rito, Rito's law that one. For the uninitiated, that's when you say something in a game. You say that I'm doing well, and you, the fact that you're going to get hit within, like, like I said, 10 seconds or 30 seconds of saying that, of realizing that, that's when you get hit. All right. Let's make this happen. What, uh, what do we... Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. We did it. We get to shoot out two crossbows. Yeah, it'd be cool if we could, uh... Oh! Shoot! If we could, um... Fire two fists out, but I'm not complaining. Look how many fists we get to throw. Oh, we get to throw a lot of fists and we get a lot of ammo, my dudes. This is... This worked out amazing. Oh, this is why we duct tape, my friends. This is why we duct tape. This is this is how you win win the game, like really easily. <laughs> so with a little bit of hope and a little bit of game knowledge, rainbow runs. Cause I I I've mastered how to get the most out of this um out of machine fist and the duct tape the issue we will run into here is that it's going to use a lot of ammo and we only have one gun ah, oh i tried to get them both try to be greedy Not a mimic. He says so. Alright. So what do we want now? We want a way to keep our ammo up. Probably a secondary gun, too. Right? Doo -doo. We're not really utilizing the arrows as effectively here. Get! Okay. We can't kill him with dodge. Yeah, you can. I thought you couldn't. Does it take... Th it takes three... Oh, uh, it's, it's so messy. Because of that reason right there. It's just... It's not worth it. I wanted to save my ammo. To do that, I should have just switched to my rusty sidearm. Now I took a couple hits for no real reason. wanted that to follow me with. Nope. No escape. Ooh. Look at that. That... Ooh. That hip holster. Tap, tap. Oh, actually, it saved me a shot there. Let's go get the key wherever it ended up after the explosion. Okay. Boo. Ah! Oh my god, I always forget that you can actually take physical damage from him. Just got it in my mind, he's just this untouchable specter. Okay. Woo! Somebody down here too? Okay. I gotcha. One, two, three. It works. Is, is it very effective? Not really. Much easier to just use the sidearm. I need to kill more things with the dodge roll. It's just, it's fun to, fun to do. Hi, man. Ouch. All right. I 
just want something to, uh, to increase my ammo output. Ancient Hero's bandana, obviously, would be killer. Ah. Did I... I ended up taking... Oh, my God. Taking damage from that, didn't I? I'm playing sloppy now. The thing is, you get one of these crazy synergies that, like, changes th how things... Did I just... I think I just took damage that I inflicted on myself. All right. Let's go get this heart that we are... We're losing health like like it's nothing here. I'm really dropping the ball on that. Let's keep it going. We're also losing frames. Dropping frames like uh, something that falls. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. Leaves in autumn. Dropping frames like leaves in autumn. There we go. The truth is we really only had minor frame issues for like two seconds. That's the truth. Wasn't that bad. Get him. Whoop. Bye. What do we got? Okay, 358. You know, it's not running out as fast as I thought. I know we got ammo already, but we didn't we weren't out. We were close, but we weren't out. Please have ammo. You've got ammo. I will not use it, though. Not yet. Is this the bar? Nope. Boss is down there. Bar down there. Okay. Ah! Ah, hell. It's like my new catchphrase. Ooh. Okay. Cool guys dodge roll into explosions and then hiccup apparently. Alright. Uh There's no health on the ground. This is probably Oh, it's not Wallmonger. It's better than Wallmonger. For us. Oh, this is it. This is the dream. Oh. Look at all that damage. It got spread around like crazy. Got spread around like butter on a warm slice of bread, also known as toast. Ah! What are those called? Yeah, they're just they're just similes, aren't they? I thought there was something, another f thing that they're called, but I, I think those are just are just simple similes. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh man, what I wouldn't give for a taste of that. Honestly, it's like, it wouldn't even be that great. With anything we have. <laughs> like, what, what synergy would it give us? Nothing. Down we go. Okay. Let's take a gander. Okay. There's some choices here. Polaris is a good one. It's pretty hefty ammo. Uh, nothing's that synergistic with uh, hip holster here. Old Knight's Flask would be nice to give us, what, six health? Six hearts? Maybe not even. I think it might even be three total. Uh, oil cylinders, nice, but I think we need to go with one of the guns. And I think I'm going to go with Polaris. Ooh. Let's get it stacked up now. Best we can. Ah! 
can't get hit, otherwise we lose it, right? That's, uh, that's the Polaris rule. I got it mixed up with, like, rad gun in my head right now. God, it sucks on rank one. That's the point, though. Does the, the uh, hip holster shot count to, towards stacking it up? And, oh! Oh, man, I took a wrong turn. It almost seems like it does not. Ay, ay. But I wouldn't know. Gotta aim better. Ah! I wanna try to figure it out. Ah, I just can't tell. Ah, we're already 150 shots through the gun. Level two, there's, there's that. The thing is, we need to get an ammo dr Ah! <laughs> Very funny, game. Very funny. Oh, man, it happened there where we can't, we can't save it for later, too. <laughs> but, game! That ain't nice. I should have waited. Could have saved five shots, five whole shots. That was not min max correctly. There we go. We got armor in here. And ammo is the one I meant to actually to say. So we can go buck wild. Give me my rank two again. I'll miss it. Please. I want a room full of baby nothings. Level two. Here's the issue. Hip holster fires a, a rank one shot. That's stinky. Ah! Oh! Oh! Oh, man, they spaced themselves out perfectly. Once it hits rank three, it'll fire a nice shot out. But it only fires, the thing is it only fires one bullet from your gun. And currently this is just, our shots are two of the same bullet and the bullet's weaker. But at rank three, it turns into a stronger bullet instead of just doubling the bullet size or, or the quantity. It upgrades the quality. Trying to be a little safe with my ammo here. I want to make it to rank three. Have something to take to the boss. Thank you. Thank you. That's real nice. This... I... Don't know if we get the points from these. I think if you kill them, it... They do give you it. But if they jump, I don't think they would. See, yeah, there we go, we got proof. What? Look at that, I was wrong. Stinky. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Brent, I want it changed. Polaris is not strong enough. Polaris is like, perfect. I, I love, I love the gun. It's risk reward mixed in a gun. You have to you have to hinder yourself for like 10, 10 rooms before you get a gun that's pretty good. And then you have to be good for another 10 rooms before it turns into a worthwhile investment. And then even then, you're you're on edge the whole time because you get hit, it's gone. Your magic is it's, it's gone. That was unwise. Hello. Clear the floor. Might as well. Uh, why why would I might as well? Like we we should probably just leave. This is stacked up. Like it would have been smarter to go in and fight the boss. you know, sure. Okay, let's fight the boss. Fill up the ammo after.
What does more damage? I would assume it's Polaris. But it'd be so smart to use the other one when there's things to... Ah! Try to get off screen. Which is almost always on the Dragon fight. Uh-oh. 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 I'm the beast! Should not have said that. Uh-oh. Okay. Next phase. I don't know what gun to fill at this point. Don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit, don't get hit. Don't say this, don't stop, please, no. I should have been filling the screen with, uh, these. Ow, oh, <gasps> uh, what am I doing? We could have one cycled them anyways. Oh man, please don't let me get hit so that I can not kick myself in the buns for all eternity. Thank you. Did we just uh, get a very casual lead god? I think so. Casual lead god. Look at that. Beautiful to see. One, two, three, four, five. It's, it's nice to see him just right in a row like that. Okay. What to fill? I think probably Polaris. Honestly. Like. Right? Ideally, we, you know, can, can keep it at rank 3 the whole floor. I don't know. We'll see. Down to see my daddy. My, my other lich. The other lich in the game. I forgot we actually get- we do get an item. It's, it's in our rules. Hello? Ah! Yeah, if we see something we want, we might just, like, spawn it on ourselves. We don't have a space bar item, so Ring of Triggers is... dumb. I'm not getting cloned, you guys! That run... I promise you, that run is... boring. <laughs> It seems like it's not going to be boring, but I promise you that run is boring. Um, I think that the smart thing to do is just go for that then. Because the, the thing with clone is, yeah, then it's basically a, a special specialized challenge run that ah is not even hard at all like I, i'll save you this the spoiler i win with flying colors like i'm already pretty stacked that's the that's the cr crazy thing i'm already pretty stacked here Ooh, i look pretty cool next all right. It's been a while since I've had an invincibility item. What the heck is wrong with me? It seems like they've just been less prevalent. They're so strong. Who would have thought invisibility or inv invincibility? Didn't see you down there. You would have thought he had invisibility. He was so hidden. Okay. Where's my space bar? Ooh. Want it back. Alright, now it's too late. Now it's useless. Alright. Get, get in the pit. Get, get pit. 
Thank you. Why am I not ranked three yet? Unacceptable. No! Hell. All right. My dream is dead. Oh, and that resets the count. Like, I was just about to get rank three. Now I have to work back up from rank one. Ah! I did the dumb. And here's the thing. I'm going to be out of ammo by the time I get to the boss anyways. So, unless... What am I doing? Unless I get an ammo drop. Oh my god. Playing like a grade A doifus. We're gonna run out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, what am I doing? Like, what is this? Who's playing? And why is he the worst? I can't all of a sudden this game became like overwhelming to me like all the my year plus of gungeon now Had all gone unlearned Ooh. Oh man, I don't want to have to use my standard gun That's not fun Oh man, it's really looking like a, it's gonna be the case though. Oh hell. Gotta manage that ammo better. <laughs> Laid response. Much like this one. All right. Okay. Does that seem likely? That doesn't seem likely to me that it would be this way. Seems like those would connect. Going out on a limb here, saying that this is gonna be it. Ah! Such a good gun that we've created with our own two paws. But it's running out of ammo. We can't put it in the gun muncher. Okay. Standard gun for the rest, I'd say. Or at least until the second wave. Who's left? Oh, it's just another one of you. It's fine. Get up in there. If we have this on, we might as well just be using our standard, actually. Ah. We're out of ammo, though. Not good. Pokemon. All right, all right. Ammo drop, or I believe in nothing. Come on. I believe in nothing. All right. I just, uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that's, where, that, that's what this is now? That's what this is now. Okay. We'll get, uh, get ammo at the end of this room. Right? Maybe if we will it hard and... Oh, they're perfectly out of sync. I can't do that. What is happening? Why does it seem... Everything seems trickier. That was, like, beautiful, though. Come on. We still have a one wave left, don't we? Everything goes so much slower when you don't have ammo. We have two waves left. Dang it. Dad! Go! 
I hate fighting these guys with a standard gun. Okay, two down. Yeah. Cool. Oh man, I hate bullet hell just stinks sometimes, doesn't it? Ah. Oh. Come on. Like I, my brain is just getting deteriorated. Like it's not it's not that this is that challenging. Like if I if I whoop, if I just like focus really hard on using my bore like boring gun, I you know, yeah, I'd, do, I'd be doing a little better, but I just it's just ah, oh, it's so so damn. Also, my frames are actually going away now. What's happening? I think I might just give myself some ammo for the sake of an interesting run. Ah! Oh, darn it. Now we have two shellatans. We have two shellatans that are out of sync. You know what? Ah, uh, you know what? We need to switch. If we can come back from this, we deserve it. Yes, I have my space bar. But it's just like, bullet, ah! Bullet hell is just such a slog with, with no ammo and not in a fun way at all. Like, at all unfortunately for me but you know i i think they'll i believe that they'll probably take a look at it for for dungeons and dragons i i hold out hope that uh some changes will be made to it it's it's not a uh, like i'm the only one with that opinion it's it seems like it's pretty like I, I love the theming of it and the enemies in it and it's just like i don't know no no if, if it doesn't have chests, it doesn't have shops, and I know this doesn't apply for Rainbow Run here. Um, and I should have just, I should have picked guns with more ammo or something. But I don't know. It just, it still stands. Whenever you, whenever you die in Bullet Hell because you're fighting them with your standard gun, it's just, it doesn't feel satisfying. You just feel like you're, you're shooting it at a room that's intended that you clear it faster like it's intended that you have a gun that's that can clear a couple enemies so you don't have to deal with all of these enemies shooting at you at the same time like you're supposed to be able to get a couple out before they get into their attack cycle i don't know i'm not i'm trying i'm not i'm not like all salty or anything but i just like when that happens it doesn't happen often to me anymore i like put myself in situations to avoid it but when it happens it's just like I don't know. It's it's not a satisfying death at all, and that and that really sucks. I hate when that happens on a on a video where where it's not a satisfying death. It's just like you lose the battle of attrition, and it is it's just I don't know. It feels icky. But anyways, I'm, I'm not trying to be all sour and sour grapes or anything. We had some cool stuff happen that run, but it's you know you run out of ammo, it's taken away from you. You know it, you, you you can't. Can't keep it if you don't keep the ammo, but that's all good. I, I, I promise I'm not mad or anything. I really do. Thank you everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on the series up to this point. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time.